Okay, so I've already emptied out the bucket, as you can see. I have filled all of the leftover juice on this one, the green one, okay? And I have labeled it that it's filled only with the kimchi brine, okay? I am boiling uh, purified water with salt so I can fill up this one over here and this one over here with water. I will be putting weights on it. Now, what I do is I have to sanitize these jars with hot boiling water, purified water, as well as the lids and the, um, these are whatever you call it, uh, fermenting, uh, lids. Okay. If, as you can, if you could see here, there's a, you, you could see that I put a weight in here. Okay. But I'm not blocking this. I don't want it to block. I want, I want, um, this to have hiccups, natural hiccups, without me having to pop the jar once a day. That's the whole purpose of that. So I just boiled some water with salt. So I am going to create, out of this kimchi, a m even more fermented um, jar. as Because it does continue to ferment in the, in, in the fridge after the 24 hours that you keep it out. But I want to do a combination. I want it fully fermented, and usually that takes up to like 14 days, quite frankly, for the um, um, cabbage to ferment. So I want to make this super potent and I've decided to experiment by, I'm going to fill this up with a, with water, salted water, but I'm going to put some more kimchi paste in it. And this kimchi, even though it's supposed to be super spicy, I could tell that the spice goes away when it's fermented. So I'm not afraid to use any more of the kimchi um, paste that I had. And I'm going to add some more spiciness to it. It came out really, really delicious. Really good. Um, but I want to make it closer to tasting like Korean. And it does really taste like kimchi. It's just not as spicy. And I have tasted um, kimchi that's not that spicy. I think the spiciness dies out after a while. So I'm not going to be afraid of adding more spice to it in addition to the leftover paste that I had from when I originally made my kimchi. Okay, thank you for watching and look out for part two. I already have some of it in the fridge. I'm going to keep, keep the, just these three jars outside with the proper lid so it could hiccup itself. So any, any bacteria will come out, no bacteria will come in. Thank you for watching.